you know how you know someone has a Vitamix? How? They'll they tell, tell you. you. <laughs> Here's why you like your Vitamix. You might not realize why you like your Vitamix. I like my Vitamix because it looks really nice on the counter. Looks nice. It's a constant reminder of, of eating healthy and living a certain lifestyle and committing to yourself. You may not want to admit it, but it's kind of a status symbol to have one. It's a minimalist thing. People people like it that it's a minimal, it supports a minimalist lifestyle. Cause it's all you need to replace a food processor and a blender with a ton of other gadgets and stuff like that. I like that it washes itself. Cleans itself. It cleans itself. What could be easier? Soapy water, 30 seconds. And people don't realize the the difference in the in the consistency. You realize that if someone points it out to you, it's the difference between granulated sugar to powdered sugar. They taste totally different. Right. That's why a smoothie made in a Vitamix tastes different than a smoothie made in a Nutribullet or a Ninja. And that's why the quick serve restaurants, the smoothie shops, they use a Vitamix because they taste better. It's not because of the ingredients. And you notice the difference when you're there. Hey, my name is Ron from Houston, Texas. And the main reason I got the Vitamix blender is so I could make those mocha frappuccinos like Starbucks. So now that I've got my Vitamix, man, I'm making them every day and I'm loving it. I'm saving a lot of money. Those things are expensive, you know. So that's the main reason I got it, the Vitamix. And buddy, it does the job and I love it. So if you like mocha frappuccinos, Get the Vitamix, you'll love it too. Why else do, do you love your Vitamix and you might not realize why you love your Vitamix? I make stuff I normally wouldn't make because I have a Vitamix. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, I should make a soup in you, cause you can make soup. It's kinda like your coach that sits on your counter. Yeah, well it's just saying like, you have an appliance that can do all these things. Like, you should make your own peanut butter, cause you can. The, the blade's dull, comes dull. And so the performance and the blend quality and the consistency is gonna be the same from blend number one to blend 10,000. You don't have to sharpen it. And some of the lower cost blenders come sharp and that's how they pulverize. But then after a year, they don't do that anymore. A year or like five days. <laughs> it's like a razor blade on your face. Like it works really well for the first one, two, three times. And then it's like, ouch. This isn't working so well. Which actually makes it really nice when you're washing it too because then you don't cut yourself when you're washing it, which I've done with other blenders before and it's a fixed blade so you don't have to like unscrew and get in the little nooks and crannies, like it's just there. That's the hugest, the hugest is the blade is fixed to the container. You yeah. don't have to unscrew it and clean the gunk and get a toothbrush and clean and clean and clean. It's just fixed blade. Like I take this for granted, but I really like that I can pour into it and it measures. Like when I'm making a morning smoothie, I know I use a cup of almond milk and I don't have to like get a, a measuring cup dirty because it has the measuring things up the side. I take that for granted, but it's a reason I like it. It's a good reason. Thanks. If it was gone, if someone took it away, how would you feel? And that's, I'd those are the things. Yeah, you'd be sad. No, I'd be pissed. You know, I there's- it a lot. There's something to be said about having a thing that helps you live a certain lifestyle and accomplish thing, but but to have it work and to have it work well. And and it, there's something about living a, a, a zero aggravation life and having things that work for you instead of you work for them. And never being frustrated at that thing. Like, you know that you have an appliance in your house that you're like, Ugh, this never works the way I want it to. I always have to jiggle it this way. Yeah. I always have to flip it on, off, on, off. Like my Vitamix never gives me aggravation like that. And if for some reason it did, another reason that I love Vitamix that I never think of is that their customer service is like beyond. I, I dare you to go to Twitter and find uh, your customer service isn't good scenario. Well, you'll find it because it's Twitter, but they're amazing and they'll help you no matter what. And if something, is to go wrong like they'll they'll fix it for you yeah like if you get there and you have to call them and something needs to be fixed like they send you a shipping label and you have to you just put it in the mail and then they send it right back to you yeah whereas like we have a wonderful chef's knife and we called said hey like the tip broke off okay they were, they were like one guy called and answered and it was really friendly but he's okay so you have to send it to us and then you have to pay the six dollars for the return you shipping. have to pay to ship it to us you have to pay to ship it back like, you have to pay okay. for the for the fix, Vitamix is like, we'll pay for all of that, sorry it broke, it shouldn't break, and so we'll take care of it. Yeah, so that's something that you wouldn't realize until you realize how great it is. Right, 
you know how you know someone has a Vitamix? Oh, they tell, tell you. <laughs> if any of these resonated with you, hit that thumbs up. And tell us why you like your Vitamix, right? Yeah. Did we miss something? In the comments. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Just because it was on camera doesn't look mean at it, you look at it. violent with it. Look at it. Show them. That one is so long, too. Oh. Mo. Mm. It's probably good. Okay, no, no. Nope. Nope. ears. No. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah.